hi welcome back to my channel promising creations in this channel i approach pattern drafting how to cut and sew female and male dress i also give advice on how to anything that has to do with sewing you are free to call my line my landline anytime and also today i'm going to make video on how to place and cut and sew a baby trouser it is a baby between zero months and eight to eight months we are going to place in the previous video i uh, we i taught you how to cut how to drop the pattern in today's video we are going to place it on a fabric cut and sew as we go just listen so attentively and concentrate you will get every bit of it anyone you did not understand drop the uh, call, uh, complaint at the description box below i will attend to it sooner now this is the pattern that we dropped on our previous video this is the back pattern and this is the front pattern now first of all we are going to place the back pattern on the fabric to cut now we are going to self guide it with a pin so that it will not be jumping up and down. After pinning it now, you just have to cut because we've already drafted it. Just to cut based on the pattern we've already done. That's for the back side of the trouser. Now we are going to place the front side and cut also. I'm going to place the front side of the pants to cut. This is the front side of the pants. Going to cut, we're going to use our pin to self guide it. That's, this is the front side, and this is the back side. We also mark the chalk like this way. Why they are marking the chalk is to differentiate between the front pattern and the back, the front side of the fabric, and the right side. So that you don't go. This is the front side and this is the back this is the front side this is the back side of the trouser this is the both of them the front side and the back side now we are going to join this way we are first we are going to sew here this way like this and sew this way when we come back i will show you how we are going to do it 
Now I've joined this place. I've joined from here to here. The nice thing to do now is to open it up this way. Open it up also this way. Then we join the two seats. Join it to this place. To the down. Also join it to this down here. Let me use the pin and show you what we are going to do now. We pin it this way. Join it this way too. Then after joining it this way, we we also join this part, this two side together. We join the two side together this way. Then I will come and show us what next to do. Okay, I'm done joining the both sides. Also hemming the down. Look at how I hem the down. Look at how I hem the down. Then join the both side. The both side. I use 0.75 inch to join the both side. Now I will bring it inside out to show you how we go about the elastic at the waist. The space for elastic. How we hem it. This is it. This is a trouser here. This is the pants of a teddy. This is the pants here. This is the pants. Now I'm going to fold. No, we left three inches off. I'm going to fold half here and one point five in. Let me pin them. Let me show you how. First of all, you fold half inch here, then also fold 1.05 in. Then you self guide it with a pin. You do it round. Let me show us what I'm saying this way. Half inch first, one point two, one point two five. This way, you save guy this with a pin. That's how you do it round. Half inch this way, one point two five inches this way. You can guide it with pin this way, half inch, one point two five inches. You also safe guide it with a pin that's around. Now I'm going to sew them. I'm going to sew it around with, in a machine. After sewing it, I will come and show you how it looks like. Now, I've, I am done sewing it. The space for the elastic. I'm done sewing it. So, I'm done sewing the space for the elastic. Now, when you sew it round, you leave a space. You leave a space here that will put the elastic inside. Now we are going to look, look at the elastic. We are using one inch elastic. Now one inch. This is one inch elastic. Look at it. It's one inch. Is one inch elastic that's what we are using 
Now, for the round waist, you don't put it in a way that it will be tight on the third yard so that it will not be uncomfortable for the baby. Now, you use your pin, use your uh, hook pin to pass it through so that you, you get the accurate size you want that will be comfortable for the baby. Take it this way. Put it around. Use your pin and be taking it around. We are putting it. And another thing that I want us to know for a quick passing of the elastic, when you are sewing it, make sure that the joinings are face one side. The whole places you joined, they are face one side. You don't face this one, this side, and face the other joining, the other side. No. Let the whole joining face one side so that it will be easier for the elastic to pass true that's how you be doing it to get to the size you want like for me now this particular waist size is okay by me now now what i will do is to cut when you cut use your pin either office pin or whichever pin first of all Remove this, use your office pin or fancy pin and hold it this way. You hold it this way, you join it, you join both of them like this, then you push it inside. When you push it inside, you cover it up. I'll go to the machine and join this the two elastic, the two head of elastic first. I will join them, push it in this way and cover it properly. Okay, I'm done sewing the elastic. This is how the art come. This is the art come. This is how it looks like. Now, I'm going to give it a good press. That's for a baby less than one year. That's a tender. That's their, how their pants look like. Thank you for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up. I will appreciate. And if you are passing by, please just stop, hit the red button, notification bell, so that when we have a video like this, we upload, you will be the first to know. Thank you very much. Do subscribe to my channel. God bless you. Bye.